Hey, Richard Knudsen here again. Now, if you know anything about my interests, you probably won't be surprised to find out that I've uh, spent a reasonably good chunk of the last week, this being September 15, 2010, kicking the tires on the recently released beta of Dynamic CRM 2011, which you're looking at here. And in this video, I wanted to show you one of my favorite small features from the standpoint of a customizer platform. It has to do with uh, customizing entities and advanced find. And let me motivate this by, here we are, say I'm looking at the account entity. By going to advanced find, typical experience of a lot of users with Dynamic CRM advanced find is this gives you too much information. You can see it here. If you pull down select fields drop down list, the defaults are that you get a lot of information here. A lot of people find this is a little bit uh, intimidating. There's just so much stuff here. Now, you can disappear these fields by making them not searchable. And let's face it, you know, if you're not using Street 3, Telephone 2, 3, aging and things like that, those things simply don't need to show up. You can disappear those by turning off the searchable property. And the first thing that I'll show you is in place customization. So here we are in the accounts form. I can simply now click customize rather than the requirement, which you can still do by the way, but I don't necessarily have to anymore. Click settings, customize entities. I can simply click customize, customize entity. So now I'm doing in place customization of the account entity, but this isn't the best part yet. That's a little time saver. Now, here I am on accounts. I can click on fields. Now, suppose I don't use account number. I can open up account number. And in Dynamic CRM 4, you could do this. You can change searchable from yes to no. Now the problem in Dynamic CRM 4 that made this such a mind-numbingly tedious task was that you could only select one of these things at a time. So how many fields does the account entity come with? A lot. Probably more in Dynamic CRM 2011, but it was, I don't know, maybe 150 or something like that in Dynamic CRM 4. So to make as many of those as you needed to, it was a pretty, pretty tedious process. But notice in Dynamic CRM 2011, the key advantage here is that I could select multiple of these things. So if I don't need to search on the uh, keep account rating, let's uh, basically identify a few of these things that we want to take out of search. So if I'm not going to search on the address lines, how about latitude? or uh, freight. I can multiple select. That's the key thing here. So I can do multiple select on all of these fields that I want to. And I'll just keep extending that. Do I need to search on postal code? I might want to search on that, but uh, that I don't need to search on. Primary contact I'll keep. How about shipping method? Don't need that. Telephone 2, telephone 3, UPS zone, don't even know what UTC offset is. All the street two fields, I can turn those off. And finally, when I've got all the fields selected that I don't want to search, that is, I don't want them to show up, drop down list, searchable fields in advance, fine. Right here, one little edit button, boom, lets me do them all at once. I click edit, the multiple fields selected, and the entity customization UI. And here's my nice new edit multiple fields, again, in the customization UI, mind you. This dialog comes up. Change searchable to no. Save them out. Publish those customizations. Close it out. Refresh the browser. And now, I'm going to go back into advanced find on the account entity. I'll have a much more manageable list of fields. It's really just the fields I want to search on. So then from 135 or whatever it is down to a pretty manageable number here. So that is a good example of how the attention to detail of the, uh, of the product team, you know, spending time on functionality that really saves people time, in this case a, a customizer, but there's innumerable examples of this. I will uh, show you plenty of things like this in the coming weeks and months. And I hope you got something out of this. And let me know if you have any questions.